Why do my songs always start with broken hearts? Why do Breaking Bright is volume one. No, it's not. It's volume two. Um, what am I talking about? I never know what to say on these things. <laughs> Okay. Hi. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I can see something beautiful always comes from something ugly. Breaking Bright is volume two of the Sunrise series, and it's about that moment when the sun uh, breaks over the horizon when you're watching a sunrise, and and you're caught by surprise, sort of, and, and the whole world changes. Uh, everything was gray and opaque and, and dim, and that was sort of what we did in First Light, volume one, and and uh, and now it's that moment when the world changes and it's full of light, and, and, and sunlight is invading the shadows, and... Uh, and you're sort of breathless. In fact, the first sound on the album is that gasping, surprise, intake of breath, um, which is on purpose, because the whole album is about um, the sharp contrast when the sun breaks and, and having room for playfulness and room to be surprised and room for wonder and all that kind of stuff. And so um, we sort of explore those themes throughout the, the EP. Something Beautiful is a song that I wrote for my friend Matt a long time ago and it just turned out to be the perfect way to start the album because it's about uh, light breaking in on our lives um, and there's that refrain that was repeated over and over um, something beautiful coming up from something ugly which is a sunrise right there's a lot of energy in in that song that that kind of launches us into the rest of the album winter sun is well it's a song that felt like it had to be on the Sunrise series uh, somewhere because it's called Winter Sun. Uh, but it's sort of a, a weird song. It's like it's like foot stompy folk kind of, but it, the melodically it's almost like the uh, screamo music I used to listen to when I was in high school. We did a lot of vocals on that song. It's a very vocal heavy song, lots of harmony vocals, and also uh, on the bridge we did some gang vocals, which was really fun. Um, which is makes the song sound like. Uh, like a bunch of people standing around playing and singing, which is exactly what it's supposed to sound like. Um, it's sort of uh, the, the community track, I guess. Gospel Song is another old song that I didn't ever think I'd put on an album, but it um, it's just a simple piano ballad. Uh, in fact, I recorded the pianos and vocals like simultaneously, so it had that really organic feel, and then later on, um, myself and Rami Christensen, who's one of the greatest harmony vocalists I know of, um, we just added some uh, harmonies to the background to give it almost like a choral, um, gospel kind of um, hums and oohs and ahs kind of sound in the background, uh, and which was really fun. It makes it really rich. Gathering Whispers is a simple folk duet, and it's a fun little song. When I first uh, wrote it several years ago, I just did a little demo of it on my uh, phone, and uh, I had Rami sing with me on that, and I think it... Uh, really captures the feeling of the song to have two voices um, and it's great because Rami is just an incredible vocalist who loves singing harmonies but when when we get her to sing uh, melodies it's, it's just a really special sound and a really good um, I don't know our voices sort of play off each other really well um, and uh, and James Pick added some uh, accordion to that song which gives it almost a Parisian feel which is really fun so uh, that's Gathering Whisper Pilgrims is the song on the album that acknowledges that sunlight also means shadows. That describes that place when you don't need or want or have poetry. You just have honest words. It's a very sort of jagged, rough, um, rugged sort of song. And um, I got to have my friend Ben sing on it with me. He has this great very soft, warm voice that uh, I think really uh, is different than mine, but really adds to the sound really well. The Song to Fill the Hole is a newer song, and uh, I wrote it because I thought that there was a hole on the album. Um, there were originally some other tracks on the album that didn't end up going on this one. Um, we may hear them later on, uh, but there, I felt like there was a hole that was missing, and I needed something playful, but rich, and something different and so I wrote this song for it and uh, it was called the song to fill the hole because it filled the hole on the album um, but it it it's sort of a folk punk hybrid um, 
And it's it really just comes from lying in the grass and, and soaking up the present moment and letting the sunlight hit your face and listening to the birds and um, it's a very uh, it's very much a spring in the Pacific Northwest kind of song. My name is Benjamin Tassell. I hope you enjoy Breaking Bright. Middle of the night. No, you're still away. Cause I am. That's a really loud chair. <laughs> 